All right, I'm back with another bit of demo. Um, this is gonna be adding in a few more effects and some more things you can play with above and beyond the adjustment layers and things like that. Um, couple things I wanna talk about that I think are fun is one is just good old fashioned paintbrush. I'm gonna go on top layer, right? And I can play with uh, some stuff. Maybe I wanna use this yellow cause I like that yellow. And I can do something like, uh, I don't know why, but I want this lady shooting laser beams out of her eyes, right? So I can go in and draw some things like that. Um, I can lower the opacity a little bit so it's not quite as intense. Um, although I kind of like it intense. Um, layers have the ability, if you right click, or not right click, but double click on a layer. We have all these layer styles that you can do some really cool things with. So we can add a stroke to it, um, right? We can do stuff, but I like, in this case, I wanna do actually an outer glow. Outer glow. And then what this does, give it a bigger size, right? I can start making these things, laser beams glow. I'm gonna make them similar color. So now I have the ability to make my, my laser beam eyes, you know, the beams are actually glowing. Right. Um, since this is on its own layer, and maybe I just want to do something like this, I don't know how well this is going to work. Maybe I want those to be a different color, and she's going to be shooting her laser beams at this little kid. That doesn't seem very nice though, does it? So maybe I won't. Right. Um, but yes, we can play with um, just painting in effects. Another fun thing that we can do is just playing with paint brushes and just adding some texture. So I'm going to paint maybe, I don't know, bluish. I don't know why I want blue, but I'm going to, I'm going to paint on a new layer and I'm going to play with my paintbrush and I'm going to play with maybe some wet media brushes. I want something that just feels like, I don't know, this thing, sure. And I'm gonna, oh, that's a smudgy. I don't want a smudgy, I want a paintbrush. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's open up some brushes. I'm gonna do some scattering and I'm gonna do a little bit of color dynamics. I know I showed you guys how to do all this before. Um, I want to make this really big. There you go. I just did some crazy painting, adding a whole other layer of texture, which is cool. <clears throat> I got a bit of color going on, which is nice. Um, what I can do with that, though, is I can play with blend modes. So I can do um, Some of these are a little intense. Let me dial that down. So lower my opacity and play with my blend mode. Um, and now I can start creating kind of these extra um, effects that are a bit more than just sort of what's there in the world. Um, I don't know what I'm, where I'm going with this. Ooh, saturation's kind of cool. That makes it kind of weird. Um, Give it just a hint of of color of that texture maybe i want to work on painting um, these individual radios because they're, they're so black and white right now so maybe i want to just paint i want to paint them blue All right and i'm not doing a very good job that's okay so i'm going to go down to whichever one that is i'm not even sure where is that I think it's this one. Yep. And I'm going to clip it so that the color is on top of the radio. So wherever there are pixels on the radio layer is where I see the color on this layer. Gotta love clipping. And I can lower my opacity. I can play with blend modes and start tinting this thing. Um, yeah, I have the opportunity to play with um, 
basically paint brush effects and play with opacity, blend modes, again, global or clipping, start building up some, some um, control over whatever it is I'm making. Um, yes. So color is a lot of fun. Um, and value is a lot of fun. You can do so much with this. I have that layer on. I don't know what it was doing, but yeah, there you go. I'm starting to get, I don't know, I'm starting to get something happening here. I'm not quite sure what the heck I'm doing. I'm just kind of having fun doing it. Um, I want, just as a contrast, since I have those yellows, I want to get kind of a nice bluish, kind of greenish, flip-flopping color. Ooh, the purples, yeah. There you go. I'm starting to get something happening there that I like. So there's a story being told. I have no idea what kind of music this is, um, but it's fun. So now um, that I've played with all that, we need to add some text. And I want to go over text now. Um, so playing with type, we're going to use this T over here. And we're going to just do a horizontal type tool. And we're going to pick, just do a single pick. And we can get some text we can type in. With the type tool selected for this, we're going to have the option to play with some fonts. So we can pick a font. We can pick a weight if there's a font that has different weights. Um, I'm going to go boring for now, but Arial, because everybody knows what Arial is. So I can go Arial. I can do also Arial Bold, which is going to be a lot thicker. I can set my font size. And I can put in numbers, which, you know, can kind of work. But I can also just use my arrow keys up here in our options bar to go up and down. Um, to play with the size. I can also, um, if I hover over the little type tool icon up here, I can click and hold with my mouse and drag left and it will make it smaller. And I can drag right and make it bigger. I can pick a color and I kind of want to go like maybe that color, actually maybe more of the purpley, we'll make it a brighter somewhere. Um, I kind of like the yellow-ish. Right, um, so we can play with stuff. There's way more we can do if you click this icon right here. That gives us lots more control if you care. And I'm not gonna get into it for this. We also have this Tiana Hill, which can be a lot of fun. And what this does is gives us what's called warped text. And with this, we can do some things where we can arc it. You only get kind of one control, um, but you can do cool things like arc. We can go up or we can arc down. Um, depending on what we're doing, we can bulge it to make it, you know, big and fat or squish it down, right? You can do some really cool things with these. Right? And again, as always, if I move back to my move tool, this is just a um, t element, just a visual element. So free transform, we can grab it, we can scale it, we can rotate it. In this case, maybe I want to shoot the, the, the band name along kind of that line for, there you go. So we can move, scale, and rotate stuff. Um, which is pretty cool. And again, I'll do another one for maybe the album name goes down here. Um, type tool, horizontal type. We're just going to single pick and say album name. All right. And now um, with the type tool selected, I can change the font. And, you know, that's a really boring name, boring font. Arial's just so boring, right? 
so I can kind of go through and see what kind of neat things are going. And the font you choose is going to make a difference. That one that says album name, uh, that one's a very different kind of music than maybe that one, right? Or that one, right? Um, so, or how about curls? That's going to be a different kind of music, right? So just the font choice alone will, will help imply um, what kind of music it is. Now, given this, this design, I have no clue what kind of music this is. Uh, the good thing is, is I don't really care. Um, I just want something that looks kind of cool. It feels like some sort of weird jazzy, new agey kind of thing. Right, um, it's sort of psychedelic kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go with like maybe a really thin, very well, that might be a little too thin, right? Just a very thin um, album name, right? And then moving it um, into position. Right, um, and that's another part of the composition I can play with. Where do I want to put this stuff? What does it look like? Um, yeah, you can do a lot with the font in position and color uh, font choice. So things to consider and play with. Um, and I'm going to call that good for now.